A common one that we use in the field is looking at an average on top of this, right? Uh, you can't do that in MapXP, but you can export these and look at them in smart if you want to. So, so here's vertical top on axis, vertical bottom. Um, just like we had over here, right? And now here's the average on top of that. Now we can look at these all together and then I can put my targets on top of it. I finally figured out recently, I don't know why this took me this long, but if you right click on one of your targets here and then choose export to weighting curve, then you can use the inverted weighting curve over here under weighting. And then it's gonna lay exactly on top of your target. These invaders tells me right away, hey, here's the crossover region that you should be looking at. And here's that cancellation. What I love about this is that I can quickly just see a bunch of options, not quite matching, right? But it was a matter of like a few inches.